Hey, this is Paul C. Toomey at Presentation Tree, and I'd like to show you a neat trick for making an exciting PowerPoint title slide. Now, the effect is basically what you see here. It's a, what you might call a popsicle stick effect, uh, where an image is broken into uh, these slanted popsicle stick shapes, and you've got your title on the left, and there's a bold background behind the whole thing. Now, why would you want to uh, put this extra effort into making an appealing title slide? Uh, there are a few good reasons, which I'll talk about on the back end of this presentation. Right now, I'm just showing you a few examples about uh, how this effect can be done. Once you make one slide with this technique, it's pretty easy to just change the image and the background color and the title, so you could reuse this. So let's take a look at how this is done. Um, I'm going to insert a new slide. You want to put a blank slide in your presentation and then create the colored background by drawing a, a rectangle to fill the background. The rectangle should not have an outline. Fill it with a dark color. It doesn't matter what you pick right now. You'll probably change it later, but a dark color, color will uh, work for getting this set up. Next, choose the rounded rectangle tool and draw your popsicle stick, your first popsicle stick. Now I want to call your attention to the fact that uh, this shape has these uh, handles on it that allow you to resize it. One of the handles is yellow and if you click that and you push and pull and slide it you see that you can change the roundedness of the corners. Uh, for our design we want to make it as rounded as possible. Now you'll also see there is a, in the middle uh, of the shape, there's this uh, icon, kind of looks like a recycle icon, it's this rounded uh, circular arrow. This is the rotation tool. Get back into a slightly uh, different view here so you can see what's going to happen. You can rotate this so that it is diagonal and I'm just I'm positioning it over the corner to kind of give me an eyeball for the diagonal. It's not critical that it be any particular uh, you know set of degrees about 320 is about right but it can you can just eyeball it and do what feels right. Next duplicate this uh, shape so that you end up with five. Why five? Five is an odd number and odd numbers are more interesting to the eye in designs than even numbers. This is something I was taught when I was studying graphic design in college. Three is an even number, uh, excuse me, an odd number. However, three uh, of these popsicle sticks would not really be enough to convey the effect. And seven usually is too many, uh, gets too busy. So five is, is the right number for this, this approach. Now notice that I've extended the shapes off the outside edge of the slide. That's, you need to do that to get this effect and your audience will not see this when you present the slide in full screen slideshow view. So don't worry about that part of it. So go ahead and make sure that the tops are extended off. And uh, I suggest that uh, you arrange these so that the uh, middle popsicle sticks are a bit thicker than the outside ones. And you also arrange it so that there's a kind of a V on the bottom that points toward inside toward the slide. Okay, once you have it more or less, you know, reasonably the way that you want it, that where it looks a bit like this, go ahead and select it. And by the way, I noticed that I left the outline on these shapes. You probably don't want an outline, so I'm removing the outline from them. Okay, I selected these, and now I'm going to group them together. And that's uh, Control G, or you can select the command from the menu. Now, here's where the magic happens. Uh, you're probably used to uh, filling shapes with different colors as I'm doing here. But have you ever tried inserting a picture? Let's do that. Now I already have an image that I know works for this. You'll probably want to uh, collect some images uh, into a place in your files on your hard drive and try a few different ones to see 
the effect that you get. But I like this one. I know that it works pretty well. So I just put that in. Now, let me show you what happens if this is not grouped. <laughs> and you'll see that you get a pretty weird effect. Essentially, each shape gets filled with the image and it and it's and it it's pushed and pulled to fit that shape. So that's not that's not something we want. So it's important that your shapes be grouped. And once you have that, you can reposition it uh, if you'd like. You can change the size of it a little bit. You also want to type in your title. Um, on the left hand side. I suggest that uh, you have a short main title and then a, uh, a more wordy subtitle and put that in a smaller font. Uh, but, you know, that this is standard. You type in your title, your subtitle, your company's name, your, your name, your title, throw in a logo. Um, so that's kind of it. On, on the right half we have the image and on the left half we have the title. But now we want to uh, change the color of the background so that it really pops. It, it makes the the image just really stand out. And the key to doing this is contrast. So if, you, if you've inserted a, a, a slightly darker image, um, go ahead and pick a, a bright light color. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to pick uh, yellow. Uh, orange works pretty well. There's a variety of colors. As long as they're light, uh, it shows the shape off pretty well. But I like uh, the boldness of the yellow. And of course, now uh, I need to go back to my title and uh, change the fill color on that. So I'll try uh, black. That works pretty neat. Uh, another uh, thing that you can do is uh, you can select colors uh, within the the image itself using the eyedropper tool. Now this is a tool that was put into PowerPoint from version uh, PowerPoint 2013 on. This is a terrific tool. If you haven't tried it, I suggest playing around with it. So I'm going to select it and what this is is a color picker basically. This allows me to pick colors from inside this image and change elements on my slide so that everything's kind of tied together visually. So I'm going to pick a dark blue for my title and for my subtitle I'll pick a maybe a slightly lighter blue. Perhaps like that. One last touch, uh, you can give it a bit of a margin simply by drawing uh, a long thin rectangle that has no outline and has it is, and it's the same color as your background. You can duplicate that uh, and, and make a vertical rotation on that and position these uh, on the top and right hand edges so that you get this margin effect. So there you have it. Now, uh, why would you want to put a little effort into making a good-looking title slide? Uh, well, because it's, uh, it represents sort of the cover of your presentation. Think of it as the cover of a book or the cover of a magazine. Uh, and, and it needs to uh, entice people to, uh, to pay attention to the content that's inside. It's also uh, where, in some cases, the audience will get their first impression of who you are as a speaker and as a subject matter expert. And so it's important that you do have a convincing first slide. Uh, so this is a neat trick that allows you to uh, have a kind of a designer effect without having to be a designer. Uh, I hope this helps you. Uh, my name is Paul Toomey and I train in PowerPoint and I also uh, create uh, PowerPoint slides and upgrade PowerPoint slides for clients all over America. So if I can help you, please feel free to reach out and thanks for watching.